Right, let me say this. I think our government hates us. It is day one of the kids' summer holidays. The A9 in Scotland is down to one lane, which is causing, no joke, three hour delays. The M5, where it goes through Bristol, is down to two lanes, but right now there's a crash in one lane, and that is now effectively a dead end. So all those people that were in the right, in the fast lane, are now completely stuck and out of their cars, and the people that were in the slow lane on the left are now going ahead. In Cornwall tonight, they are closing, I think it's tomorrow night, they're closing a part of the A30 and putting in a long rat run diversion. At the same time, the trains are cancelled and there is a rail replacement bus. So that means the top of the country, the middle of the country, and the bottom of the country are all heavily impacted by unnecessary traffic works at the exact same time of a key school holiday. Is it the highways department? Is it the local council? Or is it the government? Or do they all hate you and me and people who own cars? This trip, and I've still got 200 miles to go. Lee is, um, well, all the people that were saying to me, you shouldn't have waited for him. Wait until you see the end result and fate on. VW fate on. Um, wait until you see the end result and we actually go over the numbers and I tot up the amount of time that I've spent waiting for him. And wait until you hear Lee's stories of trying to find chargers. Um, the reason I haven't minded waiting for him is because, to be honest, I knew from the start of this trip that there wasn't a chance in hell that the EV was going to be a traditional diesel. And it became clear on the drive up to John O'Groats that, I mean, what, what's an even lower chance than not even a chance in hell? The only, the only way I won't, I'm going to save it, I'm going to save it. I just, I wanted to say those bits about the roadworks. Why would you plan all of these works around a school holiday? The Cornwall Road closes tonight. The holiday just started. You cannot tell me that that has not been done deliberately. Anyway, rant over. But yeah, for all the people saying, oh, you shouldn't have waited for him, you should have just gone ahead doesn't matter. The results are the same. I've been totting everything up, the results are the same. Um, plus it's actually more fun to do it this way because if we break the trip down into two legs, effectively you've got John O'Groats to Kendall and then Kendall to Land's End. And if you break it down into two legs, it's much more fun. It's like, you know, when you go go-karting and you and you're, and you're all split up and you never actually see your competitor for the whole race and it's a bit boring. But when you go go-karting and it's on a smaller track and everybody's fighting and there's a lot more overtaking and there's a lot more chance that different outcomes might occur, that's why I've waited for him. We don't have a film crew. We don't have an editing team working in an editing suite to put it all together. It's just me and Lee with a couple of iPhones trying to make some interesting entertainment and prove a point which will be proven when both of our edits go up my, my edit will be up before Lee because he edits with a bit of a backlog and his edit will be significantly longer because that's just the style of his videos but also I think he's going to have a lot more to say than I am uh, but you'll appreciate the interactions between Lee and myself as well you know if I just raced ahead we wouldn't have been able to go for a curry last night and catch up on all of the day's events and I'm really glad we did because it was a really, really nice curry. <laughs> we went out for a tie and um, we sat and had a tie and yeah, just decompressed after the day of being in the cars. Ludicrous. How's your skies today? Because the grey firmament that seems to be sitting behind the clouds isn't letting the sun through. the state of things at the minute the state of things at the minute can anyone name me one thing that works is there anything that's working right now like 
particularly if you look at government-led things, is there one single thing that they're doing that is going well? Other than, I mean, other than making money for their mates. Um, one thing, anyone? Roads, education, health, culture, communities, local centres for people, child childcare, looking after the elderly, anything. A anything at all? No? Well, seeing as no one's got anything at all on that, I think we'll call that a day. I don't think I'm going to post again today. I'm going to let this one, um, we're just going to see what the outcome is. And hopefully Lee ends up at the same hotel as me tonight. Which I'm really looking forward to because we've actually, after last night's disaster of a hotel booking, um, we've got a nice one tonight, somewhere really, really pretty. And I am looking forward to it. So I'm going to get off this little film and I'm going to basically, I'm going to go down to London, I'm going to buy a notepad and a pen, I'm going to make some notes, I'm going to update you lot as to what's going on, and then I'm going to the hotel. And if he makes it there, he can probably do it on his own. Next time, bring a car that works.